All right, guys, the Ripple CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, has spoken, and we've got some information for you guys. He believes XRP will be one of the biggest crypto winners. And there are quite a few people, actually, who have this growing sentiment that it will be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP when it's all said and done. Who knows exactly what will happen, but I do want to break down what Brad Garlinghouse said, some of the things that came out of Ripple Swell, and give you guys a lot of the XRP news that you need to hear right now as we sit in the markets on Friday afternoon. So with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the overall market quickly and uh, give you guys the quick breakdown. Uh, Bitcoin is about to hit 69,000. Uh, big, big moves right now out of BTC up almost 10% on the week. Ethereum closing in on 2,700. Good stuff. Uh, look at BNB, back up over 600. Here comes Solana. Uh, XRP had been outpacing everything, but quietly, comfortably sitting at 55 cents. Our positions over on Margex look phenomenal uh, with XRP. I've been showing you guys what we've been doing over here. You guys too can get over here and sign up with Margex. Links down below if you're interested. We're up uh, 106%, uh, 106, 107% now on this position uh, and doing well. So if you guys want to trade on leverage with uh, Margex, there's no KYC. Come on over and join us. But let's get into this article. There's a lot said here. As Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, is expressing confidence that XRP will be one of the crypto industry's winners thanks to the token's payment utility. Now, the Ripple CEO made the assertion during an interview yesterday on the Thinking Crypto podcast. During this interview, Garlinghouse talked on a lot of different topics, XRP ETFs, Ripple's stable coins, and U.S. crypto regulations, all of the hottest topics surfacing around XRP right now. So as he always does, Garlinghouse emphasizes that the United States government should not pick winners and losers in crypto. Basically, hey, they handpicked us out of a hat. Well, not out of a hat. They knew exactly what they were doing. As XRP was, oh, that's my Margex position. Something happened there. Uh, oh, we just cashed out of a position. Hell yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, they knew exactly what they were doing. They were going after XRP because back then XRP was bigger than Ethereum. It was number two to Bitcoin. It was the first real altcoin that actually burst on the scene and made big waves. They knew exactly what they were doing. The Ripple CEO suggested this too, that the regulator helped Ethereum overtake XRP as the second biggest crypto by market cap back in 2018 when it weighed in on whether ETH is a security. Now, they've pretty much said without saying that Ethereum's clean. It's okay. Even with their move from proof of work to proof of stake, which is kind of crazy, but we have an Ethereum ETF in the United States. So the SEC has basically said, hey, Ethereum, you're okay. XRP, you're not, right? Why is that? Well, what's Ripple doing? They're revolutionizing how we send money cross borders. That's a lot to unpack. We're, we're, we're talking about money changing, changing the way money moves. That's really at the core of what we're talking about. That's a big deal. Now, he indicated that XRP will still emerge as one of the winners of the crypto market. According to him, XRP's regulatory clarity introduced through the Ripple lawsuit which came down and said that XRP is not a security based on all of the insight and intel that we got from last year. And uh, obviously, you know, on the retail side, XRP is not a security and nothing has changed from this appeal. Notably, Garlinghouse said the seventh biggest crypto offers a compelling use case for payments due to its speed, low cost and scalability. He emphasized that the crypto industry would have multiple winners in the long term with XRP being one of them. I think you're going to have a lot of winners in the crypto world. And I think XRP will clearly be one of the winners. I actually agree with this sentiment. I do think we're going to have a lot of winners, but probably less than we think, right? Things do consolidate over time. Think about the internet. And it's got to this point where a few mass, uh, major companies pretty much have figured out a way to dominate the internet. I mean, the same thing I think will happen in crypto. It's just, we're not there yet. But what is there is the adoption rate between, you know, the internet and blockchain technology and crypto. It's happening very, virtually the same way. Um, but the podcast host, Tony Edward, asked Garlinghouse whether he thinks the SEC might block the XRP ETF. In response, Ripple CEO Garlinghouse said, the timing of the SEC's appeal notice and the XRP uh, 
ETF filings. He mentioned this. He stated that even though the regula regulator had a deadline of October 7 to disclose its appeal intentions, the commission quickly filed the appeal notice a few hours after crypto asset manager Bitwise submitted an XRP ETF application. Pretty interesting. The Ripple exec questioned whether the SEC was trying to send a signal to the market. Well, he characterized the SEC as a rogue agency acting outside the law. You guys know how Garlinghouse feels about this. Who knows, though? There could be a changing of the guards at the SEC when we get a new president, either Harris or uh, Trump. SEC's rogue nature is reflected in the Bitnomial law, uh, lawsuit. As reported earlier, the SEC warned Bitnomial that it could violate federal securities laws through its planned XRP futures contract, which it characterized as a securities product. The regulatory agency suggested that the underlying asset XRP is a security, which puts the product under its regulatory purview. Furthermore, the SEC sent some documents relating to the Ripple lawsuit to support its argument that XRP is indeed a security. However, the SEC failed to disclose that it lost critical parts of the Ripple case with a federal court declaring XRP a non-security. They, the SEC, are using actual documents from a case they lost against Ripple, but not acknowledging that they lost the case, he added. Uh, so some really interesting points here made by Garlinghouse, again, Ripple CEO, uh, saying that XRP will be one of the big crypto winners here. I do think he's on to something here, 100%. Uh, and it may take longer than expected because now we're going to probably go into mid-2025, which kind of sucks. You know, it's kind of frustrating, but we've waited this long, right? We've waited this long. Why not wait a little bit longer? So this is the news you need to know on XRP right now. Ripple CEO speaking out on the future of XRP. What do you all believe? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Very curious to hear everybody chime in down below. Have a great weekend, folks. We'll see you.